What's up, guys? Sorry for the delay. I was napping. And I was kind of exhausted. A little golf. Let's see if you go like this. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Blake is going to paint a little intro tonight. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. What's up, guys? So, we had, uh, had a great day, great time uh, in New Jersey. Thanks to Tony and Tori. Thank you guys for hosting. Uh, we went golfing today. I shot a 120. Felt really good about it. Because that's, that's actually like my average golf score when I used to golf more often and I haven't golfed in 18 months. So to come back and be basically just as bad as I always was, was a good thing. Uh, Tony did not play that well for himself. He shot a 99. If I shot a 99, I would have been stoked. Uh, and now we're back. He drove me back to Jersey, which or back to New York, which was really nice. And then he turned around basically and went back to Jersey. Um, so tonight we're going to do a little bit of painting as I said. What's up, everybody? What's, What's up, up, Chris? Shout out to Chris, Chris Luke, Luke, Ellen. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Rakesh? What's up, David? What's up, David? What's up Brian? What's up, Octavio? What's up, Octavio? What's up Jason? What's up, Grant? Echo. Oh, we got an echo. Uh oh. Audio. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna fix it. Thank you, everybody. That should do it. How's uh, the audio now? Well, they can't. Oh, they it, can't hear? It's fine. Okay. Blake says it's fine. I trust Blake. How's the audio now? Hopefully a lot better. According to Blake, it is. Wow, that's a real close-up on it. Um, let's see here. I need one of my shoes. Hopefully the echo is gone. Um, it will be. It'll just take a minute. What's up, Brian? Abraham, it was so awesome seeing everything you sent us on the stream last night. Thank you so much. What's up, Jason? What's up, James? What's up, Ron? What's up, Donna? How's it going? What's up, Nick? What's up, Rich? What's up, Michael? Michael, congrats on the weight loss. You're crushing it. It's awesome to see. Keep up the great stuff. Uh, Tony is the man. Absolutely, Tony. From one Tony to the other Tony. Uh, awesome. Much better. Eric, everybody. Subscribe to those back pages. Eric is the best. Eric, you rock. What's up, Alex? How's it going? What's up, Kyle? It is good to be back in the studio, Matthew Burke, especially now we have AC back, so that's been quite, quite nice. Yeah. Jason Egger. Jason, your work is awesome. We just, Blake obviously just brought back the two pieces and uh, we're gonna put them up in HQ3, so thank you so much. Um, Everybody go check out Jason's website. Um, his work is fantastic. Um, and yeah, if you missed the stream last night, um, Tony and Blake opened up some, you know, some of Jason's art and it was uh, really, really cool to see. What's up, Andy? How's it going? That was only care package number one, Abraham? Holy cow, I'm excited. I can't wait for Derek Jeter package. Gags, what's up? 26 strokes. That was really close. I was gonna tell everybody who was guessing single digits that it was at least gonna be double digits, but I didn't end up saying that. All right, you would be right. I know. Tony's pretty good at golf. He is. Yeah. Um, do you still, do you know who Dave Taylor is? I feel like I've heard of Dave Taylor. He's low. <laughs> What's that? These chairs are low. Yeah, well, uh, you, can, you can raise them up though. The other, yeah, I you can raise them up. The other studio. Um, Octavio, thank you so much. You are the man. Um, ah, Alex, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope the back is feeling better. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a really productive day. We're doing a lot, uh, getting a lot done on the podcast, hopefully launching next week. Fingers crossed. Some pretty big news coming soon. Um, first episode will be myself and Blake. Wait, no, other way. There you go. Okay, off, off screen now. Yeah. Uh, so we're very excited about and that. We have a big announcement. And we do have a bit. We have got a, some pretty big news coming on episode one of Pretty Big News. I think it's an announcement that everybody's gonna be super excited for. You guys have been waiting. Yeah. What's up, Ryan? Something you guys have been waiting for. Yeah. Just want to shout out to Ryan. Ryan, I saw your tweet about just like 
enjoying making people's day and making people happy and I thought that was awesome and I think you're awesome so just want to say appreciate you Ryan uh, he's living one-handed on in the comments Ryan hack appreciate you Ryan you're awesome who won the golf pool? Good question, Krista. I don't know. Everyone emailed know. Tony. Alex, oh. Alex Kent got, got it right. Alex uh, Kent. But Congrats. Have, I'm oh. sure there were multiple people that guessed 21. Oh, okay. So we know it's Alex raffle. Kent, but anyone who also guessed 21 strokes is part of the raffle. Would be part of would be yes, a winner. So Frank, I would have guessed 33 too. I thought it would have been more than 21. Blake, uh, Blake had a pretty good round. I is, played good and Tony played bad. Yes, yes. Blake played well. Tony did not. It's funny to be sick because I got 21 strokes more than him, but that's still... Yes, out. yes. Um, Grant, great question. Uh, Blake will be the first guest, not Eric, but I definitely plan to invite Eric on to the pod very soon. So, Eric, would love to have you on the pod. Um, did Blake bring back Tony's dog? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Tony and Tori would be okay with that. So, no, no. Ted is... Uh, Still in New Jersey, as far as I as far as I know. James, appreciate it. Num guest number hundred. We'll uh, I'll pencil I'll pencil you in. Not pen, just pencil. Uh, thank you so much, Ian and Sports Cards. We appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Blake, it's time to, for Blake to paint Ichiro. Everybody, enjoy. What's up, Irene? I think you're gonna really like this one tonight. Shout out to Irene, aka Mose Town, aka Grizz Grizzly Bees. Yeah, yeah, you're awesome, Irene. Appreciate you. Big Mac, first guest on the podcast. Alex, that would be sweet, but he will not be the first guest. Hopefully, he'll be a guest at some point. That would be awesome. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. All right, it's Blake's time. Enjoy. Tight. Uh, Give me mask. Oh, this smells really good. All right. So I know the lighting is not as good as. Do you want me to grab the additional lights? Uh, yeah. Let's let's plug it. Let's plug it, those ones in as well. So we have the uh, stencils look great on this one. It's easier to see on the back. Uh, is it okay to put this behind you? Yep. Uh, we can put one. Uh, we can put it here. We can put it here. Yeah. Yeah. Just light it up a little bit. Experiment. We're gonna try. We're gonna paint two of them tonight. Two, two each of us. Yeah, I want to paint one on just raw cardboard, just okay. for fun, uh, and I'm gonna do it with some splatter paint. Two each of us. Bam! Ship it and send it. Always looks cool with the reference layer. Let's see if you guys can see. Put it down here for you. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. So that will be one of them. All right. I need some cardboard. There's no shortage of.
we're gonna do one on this. That was like for testing pens. Oh, this one's actually a nice sheet. Let me do See if I can show you guys in the light. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna see to mess with this one tonight. Okay. I was telling them about you as well. <laughs> I'll tell them. No, I'm, I just. Well, you're, you're I just told them. They can hear me. Okay, well the fan is off, so I didn't know if the audio I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, what, uh, what is the reference card for that? What are the colors? Uh, Matt, you know where the reference cards are? The P2020 reference cards? HQ2 at the very bottom? Yes. Will you see if you can find an Etrio? Of course. I think it's in the middle row near the back. Gotcha. Thanks. Play with some metallics for this one. Here too. Uh -huh. I don't want to mess with this blue. It's a little different blue, but this one's metallic. I want to play with.
caps. Alright. What's up guys? Yeah, teal. So I have this kind of a metallic teal, which is which really I've never used this paint before. It's a different it's the same brand, um, but a different finish. So like I said, this is kind of a test run. This is not uh, exactly, this is not what will necessarily get submitted to Tops, unless it looks amazing and we decide to submit it to Tops. But I actually kind of like the idea of painting on cardboard. It's, you know, like cardboard cards. Um, it's kind of fun, actually. Some gray pantalones. here but crazy okay alright I also just got this book so I'm very excited to check out I have that card. I'm sure it's a reprint, the one I have, but it's pretty rad. Text or just that? So Jake just said, say hey, Blake. Got it. What's up, Jake? Oh, nice, Jake Shornick. How you doing, buddy? All right. Okay. So let's go. Some Seattle landmarks. That would be cool. Great city. Do you see his Yoshi? Yeah, he loved it. Yeah, me too. God, I love Yoshi. I absolutely love it. I think I agree with you. It's my favorite thing Andy's done so far. Yeah, it's really good. It's my interest. Okay. Hey. What's up? I was talking to myself. Oh, okay. Let me know if you need anything. 
so far. So a long way to go, but Feel sick. This is kind of reminding me of uh, Leroy Neiman. You know his art? Yeah. You know his art? No. Andy, Google that and show him. Who? Leroy Neiman. This is going to be sick, guys. This is very cool. But I don't want some skin, not skin tones. We're going with like gold and copper for skin tones.
Anywhere from, uh, so I usually do two layers on the stencils. Cutting them out takes the longest. Anywhere from uh, an hour or two up to like, I don't know if you guys have seen my Muhammad Ali, but I spent like 14 hours cutting one stencil layer and there were two of them. So I spent like 30 hours cutting that stencil. But that painting's huge. What's the name? Do you I think that's it. You find it? Oh, He's a legend. He does a lot of horse races. Oh, my friend has, you know it's actually funny, my friend has this Pagar one in his room. It's not, it's like a print and it's signed by him. That's awesome. Yeah. Your friend and my friend, your friend and me could be friends. What was that? Your friend sounds cool, I would be friends with him. Yeah, yeah. That was the one I stayed in Long Island for yeah, like... Look at him. It's gonna be sick. Dude, that is so dope. It's gonna be fucking tight. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> wow. So, if someone asks, why, why scrape, scrape, excuse me, for the slab? Why not? What's that? Why not? Uh, it dries quickly. It's very opaque. So you can, uh, if you feel like you made a mistake, you can cover it up very easy. And again, the fast drying time is, is awesome. And I just love the effect uh, of what it looks like when it's splattered like this. Sure. Awesome, thank you. For sure. Keep them coming if they got more cues. Well, no. You can tell them Andy said acrylic is sometimes annoying to work with. <laughs> Andy says acrylic is sometimes annoying to work with. Look at these game worn one of one relic gloves. Also. Okay. Put a little bit more blue. What's up, Greg? What's up, Gregory? Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Have you seen it, Maddie? I've, I've only seen it on the screen. Ah. No, it, it looks way better in person. Yeah. Holy cow, it is, it's gonna be tight. What's up, Greg? Sir? Excuse me. This looks, this is awesome. Yeah, we'll What's be up, cool. everybody? Okay. I'm popping a little bit of yellow, a little spice, spice up your life. Yeah. 
What are the biggest vectors that Mark McGuire holds? Being the most awesome. <laughs> He's got, uh, he's got the rookie home run record. He just lost it. Okay, maybe he lost the rookie. Oh, he, lost he had the rookie home run record. Yeah. Had the home run record. Had the most awesome record. The biggest, uh, he's a, you know, got the most freeway fans. For sure. I like this. This is going to be, this is going to be really nice. Alright guys, so this is the work in progress so far. Show you guys uh, so that's like the mid-tones. I'm gonna do the stencil over the top of it. It's gonna be nice. Definitely gotta let this dry for a while. Not too long, but a little while. Uh, it's going to be nice, though. Definitely a different uh, style a little bit, but uh, fun to experiment and push yourself. And I think, uh, I think it could make for a cool card. Don't know if it's going to become the card. Probably won't. I'll probably do something more like the other ones to match everything, but never know. Got a good question for you. Yeah, what's up? From Abraham. Okay, what's up, Abraham? Shout out to Abraham. Shout out, Abraham. Of all the players you haven't done yet, who are you most excited to do? Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. That's what I thought you were going to say. Sweet. Yep. Uh, do we have, could you go get a fan from, or even that fan? Absolutely. And we'll like plug it in over here and we'll just, ooh, I want to blow it on this. Uh, also, I wonder what the temperature is outside, because we could blow an exhaust, or like, we could do an intake fan, and if it's warmer outside, it helps. Whatever you want. It doesn't seem like it is. Okay. All right, I'm going to take these off. My hands are sweating. Uh, where, I'm sorry, where do you want? So just plug it in down there. And let's, uh, let's just do this. There you go. Get a little airflow going. Yeah, so I could tell it's definitely, uh, well, it's actually drier than it looks. It looks wet because it's like semi gloss, kind of metallic. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit wet, but that's good. Let's see if I prop this up like that, maybe. Yeah, prop it up on can of spray paint. Box of spray paint. There we go. There. All right, what's up, guys? We got a we got five minutes uh, to kill. Dude, a Blake Siff collab, I would love that. Whoever suggested it, it's a good idea. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, that was Gags, nice. Oh, yeah, great idea. Gags. Love it. Uh, I don't know if it would be on Griffey, but I would love to collab with Jeff, uh, with uh, with Gregory on something. It would be awesome. Uh, Tess said that she texted you, Matt. I'm moving now. Uh, what is up, Andy? How's oh. it going? Nice. Man, that'd be so sick if we collabed on each other's gags and then we and then they put them both out on the same day. That would be absolutely insane. That would be so dope.
Dope. Yeah, so anyone joining us late, we're doing Ichiro. We're doing kind of a test run. I'm trying a little different uh, variation style where I put down the base layer stencil, which is the black layer, but I use silver paint. It's the most opaque. Coverage is great. Uh, dries fast. That's what I like to do my reference layer with. And then I just took uh, spray paint in little caps and was just kind of flicking it on. Um, did like some teal, metallic teal, some dark blue, uh, gray, chrome for the pants. Uh, did the uh, gold and kind of a copper uh, for the skin tones. And then I hit it one time across kind of this way with, uh, with yellow, which I think is, at the end of the day, I think it's gonna look, um, look really nice. Yeah, that looks wet, but it's actually pretty dry. It's also pretty dry. Not super dry, I'm still getting like fingerprints in it, but it's not like coming off of my hands. So we've got a rare one of one fingerprint painting. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, this is gonna be sick. This is actually gonna be really cool. Oh man, well, I'll see if I can make it, uh, well, we'll see. I'll show you guys, as you know. You guys can help me pick. Maybe I'll do one that's like the other paintings I've done for tops and uh, kind of more matching style. Maybe we decide that this one's cool enough to release. We will just find out very shortly. That's a little, uh, little wet. Not super wet, but a little bit. It's gonna be dope. Jason, later, man. Have to go to some family time. Family time is very important, man. Enjoy. Check your guys tomorrow on Twitter. Yep, see you then. Thanks again for the prints last night. They look awesome. I just got them back. Uh, we'll put them up on uh, on the shelf in HQ3, like uh, Matt said. Um, thank you, Stros411. Always positive, always Stros. Nice. I like that. Uh, I like that handle. Nick, thanks, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. We still have to hit it with a white stencil and a black stencil. Um, Mike Smith, definitely, I am a, definitely, in my opinion, go with not your normal. Cool. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, yeah, stay awesome, Jason. You're the man. I appreciate you very much. Um, Frank Murphy, congrats on the win. Did Frank guess uh, 21 for the uh, golf difference? If so, he's in the mix. Alex Kent got it right. No, he uh, right? did not. Yes, he guessed 33. Or oh. 21, something like got it. Nice. Congrats on the win from FTOT. Uh, Irene, what's up? Frank. Yeah, so damn cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, well, uh... We're getting close. Ah, oh, that one's still... Gotta oh, be patient. Literally waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> Just fly. Uh, so we got, um... Let's see, what do we got coming up? So this Ichiro card, maybe this card, maybe, maybe a different design. Um, but my Ichiro card will drop on July 22nd. That will be my next drop. We currently have uh, quite a few, uh, what is it, Mo, Mariano Rivera autos, uh, still available at all levels on the website, which is great. The gold one of one sold. I think there's, uh, I don't remember how many silvers, but we did an addition of 500 red autos, 99 bucks, very affordable uh, in terms of like a lot of the autos we've released. Those are still available, proathleteportraits.com. I should have linked it down below this video, I didn't. Uh, Eric, maybe you can put that down in the comments. Right on the homepage, you'll see. We also have some trouts left. Um, uh, trout autos also, not the red ones, but we do have some upper tiers. And we're probably gonna be adding the Willie Mays autos uh, in the next five days, I'd say. Uh, also, fanny pack update. Fanny packs are shipped. We have a tracking number to us. Uh, I gotta double check the tracking number, but as of right now, they're scheduled to get here on Thursday, I believe. Tess, I'm sure, is on the stream. She can verify. Uh, and then we are gonna have all the labels printed out and all the boxes ready, 
All the cards are already ready to go. So we're gonna flip those around very fast. We're gonna work diligently through the weekend uh, because on Monday, Andy and I take off for a couple day trip. Uh, we are doing a little uh, business exploration adventure. I'll tell you more about that sometime. But uh, my goal, we are, we are getting the fannies out the door before we leave for our adventure. And uh, I'm excited for that. And once those are out, I'm gonna probably do another fanny drop I'm not sure if it's gonna be a one, I think it'll be more than like just a one-time stream thing. It'll be like available for, let's just say like a week. So it still will be limited, limited print run, uh, and they'll be numbered and signed just like these ones will be. But if someone misses a stream, I don't want them to miss out on Fanny. We're gonna give them like a full week, during the day, during the night, whatever. Uh, we'll do something like that. Uh, so that'll be coming up. Um, oh, we got these, check this out. Maybe in the next fanny. Could be in this fanny. But we got, I got some baseballs. Um, we're gonna pick up more, but I just wanted to start uh, start doing some painting. I saw Andrew Thiel did some baseballs that I thought looked really great. And uh, we're gonna start doing that as like companion maybe to an autograph card or like Sophia Chang actually did that with some of her trout autos, which I thought was really smart. So I'm excited. We have two dozen balls now. And Matt, are you gonna pick up more Modelli? Right. We're going to do some baseballs. Uh, we also are very close on uh, relic cards. I found a manufacturer. Uh, they're not cheap to make, but it seems fair for you know what kind of quality we're going to get. So I think we're, we're in the final stages of figuring that out. But we're going to take, the goal is to take that living canvas that is over here. Oh, I guess you guys can't really see it. It's behind the lights. Yeah, it's over there behind the lights. Nah, don't worry about it. We're gonna take the living canvas, chop that up, and well, they'll chop it up into, you know, squares, game used canvas. And um, we're gonna do some relic cards. Uh, that'll be separate from the promo card that I do with tops. Uh, we might do some of those, you know, put them in future fanny packs. We could do them as companions for autos. Uh, we might have, have them independent, you know, separately for sale. Those are actually gonna be stamped too and serial numbered, so it'll be like, I'm not really sure how much, we really gotta ask them like how many we can do from the living canvas, and that's how many we will do. So if it's an addition of a thousand, that'd be great. Uh, if it's, uh, if they can only do 800, then it'll be an addition of 800, whatever. It'll all be from that one living canvas, which was uh, used for card art, you know, right at the beginning when I started streaming, literally the first night, I think, uh, or second night, it was blank, all white, we put it down and we knocked it out. Um, and it's really, it's gorgeous in person. That's also, by the way, the print that was used on the fanny packs was the living canvas. So, uh, yeah, there's like gonna be some cool crossover where like if you have a fanny with the print on it, and then you have like the relic card with the patch of actually a part of the canvas, that'll be really dope. All right, I think we're ready. Just wanna make sure, I don't wanna mess this up and by going a little too early, but this feels pretty good. Uh, all right, I think we're good. Exactly sure what we we've talked about it a little bit, um, but I mean dropping this summer that's like really soon, right? Yes. Like like pretty 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 soon. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? This goes there. So I don't know if you guys remember. Talked to you about lining up stencils. The most important thing you can do is line up the eyes. You line up the eyes, the stencil's gonna look good. In this case, he's wearing sunglasses. So we don't have to worry about that as much. 
Uh, but I do want to make sure that I kind of get, you know, get as lined up as I can. And we're looking, we're looking pretty good. I purposefully, if you guys see here, so I measure, I put it right on the corner. So we're all the way down here and we're all the way this way. And so I can basically just line it up with the cardboard and we're good. Should be good. Okay, we're going to do chrome here. So it's a little confusing right now to look at because I did my reference layer in Chrome. This is the white layer, so it's different than the reference layer. And I did that also in Chrome and I splatter painted Chrome. So there's kind of a lot of Chrome on there right now, but once we hit it with the black, I think it's going to tie it all together. It's going to look really nice. Now we can see on the back of this stencil, so see how there's all these uh, like paint marks? This just means I didn't wait quite long enough. Um, to, for the paint to dry, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's a happy accident. It doesn't matter. That it still looks awesome here. Just means I pro I could have waited longer, um, and not had anything get pulled up. But it's not really a big deal because, like I said, the painting actually looks really awesome, and it's going to be really sick. Stencils, cutting, two hours per layer to 16 hours per layer for really complex big ones. This is on the lower side. This is a smaller piece for me. So I probably spent two hours maybe on the white and then maybe three hours on the black. Black is usually a little more complicated. Um, this is gonna be sick. start doing more like a, almost like a paint along videos walk you guys through everything love it. make some art together I would love to do that especially you know people are stuck at home need something to do I'll give you guys a shopping list ahead of time try and make it really easy so it's like here's everything if you want to get it from Amazon here's everything if you can go to a local Home Depot or Ace Hardware uh, it won't be the fancy stuff it'll be like you know the cheapest uh, the cheapest way to make dope art that would be fun. This guy is super dope. Yeah, this is this is gonna make it pop. This is gonna be sick. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Alrighty, go. J A X O N. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm glad I asked. So, your dad just joined. Okay. What's up, dad? And he said, sorry he was late. Jackson was doing art card today, or card art today. Nice. Very picky choosing cards to splatter, and he wants to send them to you for free. I want that. 
Jackson, I want that. Or Dad, tell Jackson. Awesome. I'm gonna choke. So it's kind of sticking, so we're gonna uh, So sometimes the stencil sticks to the cardboard or the canvas, uh, and so I will take an X-Acto blade. Be very careful when you play with these. Not a toy. And just make sure that I'm getting all these back up. Definitely uh, different, but it's rad. I like it. Show you guys there. Show you there. I love like it's hard to say like it's hard to see um, through the camera, but it's like a lot of this is like really reflective paint, and so it's like uh, like it's really shiny in person and has like a really cool finish to it. It's like a refractor. Refractor painting almost, uh, which I like. I think the stencil looks dope. It's fun. I love, like, I actually really like how this yellow popped in. I like that. Yeah, so that's the test run. And uh, I'll be playing with it this week. Oh, I see a little tiny piece of the stencil still stuck. I gotta keep that on here. There we go. Let's see, let's make sure there's nothing else. Oh, well, there are a couple. Make 
share this with you. Well, Everything else looks good. Yeah, so what I might end up doing is like cutting this out uh, and then putting it on another. Yeah, let's just try it. We're here to play, right, guys? We're here to play. So we're just going to try. I'm going to do kind of a big geometric cut. Here to play. That's right. Play, you win the game. I mean, you can't play if you don't win the game. Or you can't win if you don't play the game. You can't win. You can't play if you don't win. That's some fucking uh, Ricky Bobby shit right there. You know, you know the coach who said you played in the game? No. You were wearing the team t-shirt today. Uh. What t-shirt was I wearing? The gray t-shirt? J E T S Jess oh. Jess Jess. Hey. Her Edwards, baby. Alright. Oh my god, that is looking This is so gonna be weak. sick, right? That is looking so weak. It's gonna be sick. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna announce the winner of the Gregory Sif portion of the Blake Jameson Gregory Sif Tony Gwynn. Quad auto. So quad color auto. Yes, We're correct. Gonna, there's yes. only one person signing correct. it. Just one signing. One person is signing it. Yeah. Thank you, Blake. That is an important thing to clarify. One person is signing it in four different colors. So quad refers to the number of colors, not the number of signers. Good. Good. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. I want to. I think this deserves its own. Oh my god. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> It's like a big, uh, it's like a fathead, kind of, you know? Yeah, but cooler. Sorry, fathead. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I'll just, I'll show everyone how I, how I did it. Um, so. So I basically created a spreadsheet and I added in entries for everyone. Everyone got the free entry and then for every additional Gwyn card, they got uh, an additional entry. And then I used a, a random number generator um, to pick, to select the winner randomly. So the winner of the Gregory Sif Tony Gwyn card that he will sign in four different colors is John Craig, congratulations, John Craig. Nice. Shout out to you, John. Congrats, that's gonna be awesome. And everyone who didn't win still has a chance to win Blake's Tony Gwynn card that he will sign in four different colors. So stay tuned, because that's gonna be awesome too. Shout out, congrats to John Craig. All right, we're just playing around. All right. We got, this is just a background I have. You could also try flipping it if you wanted. You could also move it down there if we wanted. We could do really whatever we want. I also have some other color ones. Let's see what, let's see what else we got.
got this like purple and gold. Oh wow, I like that. That's pretty dope. Yeah. I don't know, just some ideas. Let's see what else we got. Got this one. You know, could play with that. So I'll mess with it. Like I said, I might do. I might completely uh, paint him again. But it's fun to play. Fun to be back in the studio working. Fun to be hanging out with you guys. Fun to golf 120 today, like a boss. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a, it's cold. And honestly, even just like, you know, against white, looks pretty dope. Hashtag screenshot if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I like it guys. I think uh, the stencil's gonna look awesome. Once it's uh, ready for prime time, be ready. July 22nd, tops.com, 1 p.m. Eastern. Or if it's like my Willie, 10 a.m. Eastern, I have, I have no idea. Could be anything. It's gonna be fun. But that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. Um, all right, do we have anything else we wanna cover? So again, there are uh, Mo Autos available right now. There are Willie, uh, Willie Autos will be coming soon. We're gonna do something very similar to Mo, uh, where we have a big edition of Reds that are very affordable. Uh, there's some trout autos that are less affordable, but they're also Mike Trout. And uh, those are all on proathleteportraits.com. Uh, fanny packs are coming this week, so stay tuned for that when we're picking the fannies. I actually already decided what we're going to do. So we have all the cards set aside. We're randomly putting them into the fannies. Uh, you know, I'm signing and numbering them. Once we have a giant pile of stuffed fanny packs, one night, either on the stream or I'll just film a video, uh, you know, in the studio that I'll just post on Twitter. I just, I'm gonna literally just like grab like random ones from like the middle of the pile, and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys like the awesomeness that is in literally every one that I'm so confident I could pull a random one, open it up, and you guys will be like, wow, that's dope. So as soon as those fannies are ready to go, we will let you know, and as soon as we get them out the door. Uh, then we're going to start thinking about the next Fanny and what we can do to even make it even cooler, like maybe including a signed baseball or whatever. Um, let's see here. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. You make it all possible. Lucky guy, man. I'm a very lucky guy. Matt, you want to sit, come say goodbye? Uh, to. You want to show them what you're working on real yeah, quick, Andy? You want to? Andy yeah. is working on a, a dope Yoshi painting. And it's awesome. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, Come show it. Show it. <laughs> Work the oh, yes, uh, are, they, are they ready for it? They're ready. Drum roll. Oh, hot jambalaya. Right. Hot jambalaya. Wow. Where can they find you, Andy? At Andy Choi. At Andy Choi. Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. I've retweeted some of Andy's art, so check it out. It's awesome. Andy gave me his Ken Griffey Jr. art card, which first one, first one, one of one, which I will treasure forever in my PC. Thank you, my friend. Um, eBay tomorrow. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yo, it's awesome, man. I love yeah. that one. Yeah, that's it's really super cool. Dope. Yeah. I put it on my story, and I got a lot of reactions like right away. Dude, it's really oh, sick. Let's go. Yeah, it's awesome. really sick. It is. Crush it. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching. One, two. Stay awesome! Oh, can't reach. <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs>